Hi everyone, Jay here. I uh, just wanted to show this, uh, this garage sale find. I uh, went ahead and, and kit bashed together. Got this for about four bucks uh, at a local garage sale. It was broken and in pieces. I was just gonna go ahead and salvage it. I wanted to turn it into something that it wasn't originally. Um, sort of like the old Star Wars Uglies ships. Um, so the idea is that my Stormtrooper regiment is on the edge of the galaxy and they're not being reinforced and they're not being resupplied so they have to make do with whatever they can find and normally that entails them just kind of repurposing old damaged vehicles whether it's imperial vehicle or separatist in this case or whatever um, and so that's what this is this is going to be turned into a separate from a separatist tank droid tank into an imperial um, armored personnel carrier well with the main cannon and so you can see i cut the main uh, troop parts compartment parts I a styrene, glued them together, then glued them to the main uh, body of the tank. I also added a hinge to that canopy, so it's an actual opening cockpit now. Uh, and then these two front cannons were actually on the side, but they the pegs were broken, and you could not get them to, to stay. So I had to drill down and then reattach them onto the onto the vehicle. Uh, here it is, all taped off, and doing a second coat of paint with that imperial gray. I've already put on that imperial white. Um, here is the final paint job, all done and uh, primed and, and then finished coated. Turned out really good. I like the paint scheme to it. Uh, I was kind of worried at first, kind of adding a little bit of that imperial gray on top of the imperial white, but I liked the way it came out. The, the I didn't have any issues with the taping off area this time. Sometimes I do. Um, you can see the canopy opens and closes. It, it now sits two drivers and then two passengers. Um, kind of assuming that the, uh, the passengers are maybe the the commanding officer, and maybe the EXO. Here is some nose art I added, uh, which is just an Imperial female officer and a uh, whole bunch of little bombs indicating other vehicles that they've destroyed. Um, and then just some Star Wars lettering for their for their unit. Uh, added some other Imperial decals. Kind of wish I would have done those a little bit bigger, but I compared it to one of my other larger vehicles and it's about the same size, so it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. And then I'm just kind of pointing to where the the part, sorry that I took it off. <clears throat> the main cannon was broken off, so I had to repair that and then find a way to get it to have tension because it was really, it was really loose. And what I did is I just wrapped some tape around it before I primed that. And then I added another layer of top coat before I painted it and then I top coated it again. You can see here the, the missiles still work. You press the button underneath to get them to fire out. And now the the main cannon is, is is pretty tight and can be posed anyway. The, the turret rotates 360 and the hatch works. Opens and closes just fine, no issues there. Um, I did originally uh, intend to add doors to the sides to get the troops in and out, but I ended up not doing that. It was just going to be too much work. Maybe I might go back and add it at a later date, but I kind of wasn't trying to get good at doing a, a project, getting it done quickly, and then just letting it stay as is if, it's, if I'm happy with it. Otherwise, I could keep on going forever uh, with these types of projects. But um, still rolls, no issues with that. It's just fine, still maneuverable. And I think it comes out pretty good as a repurposed vehicle, a, a repurposed vehicle that the stormtroopers made into their own, you know, light armor reconnaissance vehicle. Can't really argue with that. Now, I was gonna show something here in a second. Uh, lady that sold this to me threw this in for free, and it's some kind of a, a Star Wars droid. It's got some markings on the bottom. It's a Star Wars. I have no clue what this is. I googled every type of Star Wars droid, chains, all that kind of stuff. Nothing came up. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's from something I missed in a movie or a cartoon or what. But if anybody has any clue what this is, please let me know. It has like tension wound up wheels so it can like roll a little bit on its own and then whenever you move the the some of the the sections like the arms will kind of move on their own you can see like the arm kind of moves when you move it i have no idea what this is but it's, it's clearly star wars it's marked hasbro star wars on the bottom um just real quick another size comparison to the mandalorian uh personnel carrier um this is one of the newer ones there was an older one in the Kenner line that was much kind of scaled down a little bit I can hold like 25 in here I think uh, of my stormtroopers in this one 
so it holds pretty much uh, a couple of squads. And then here's the the newer um, tank. I think this is from the book Boba Fett. I'm not really sure, but it can only hold about 18, something like that. Uh, but my vehicle, my my you know my cobbled vehicle, can hold 30 together. It actually could probably hold more if I just cram some more troopers in those compartments. But I only did four per each little compartment on the side. Um, so I was pretty happy I was able to get one vehicle that holds more than the two main uh, troop carriers right now in the main line. But yeah, it's all finished. I'm going to go ahead and add this one to the shelf for display. But pretty happy with how it turned out. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you, do know, if you do know what that robot is, please let me know. And I hope you have a good weekend.